Hello there. Welcome to the AWS Tech Guide training. My name is Som, your AWS Tech Guide. In this tutorial, we will learn how to deploy a Spring Boot RESTful web service in an EC2 instance in very simple steps. Let's proceed with the type of tasks we have to do. First, launch an EC2 instance. Configure security group. Upload your Spring Boot build or .jar file to the EC2 instance. Check or install compatible Java version and start the app and test. Let's proceed to launch an EC2 instance. I am already logged in into my AWS management console. Let's search for EC2. Click on running instances. Click launch instance. Here I am simply launching the EC2 with default configuration, but if you have your custom VPC setup, you can use that also. Only remember that if you want to access your web service on internet, then your custom VPC should have root table configured with internet gateway properly. In default VPC configuration, it already exists. Now, to launch this EC2 instance, let's select this AMI. Select T2 micro and review a launch. Just click launch. I have my key pair already existing, so I am just selecting that and launch instance. Click on view instances. And now our EC2 instance is initializing. Meanwhile, let's go to the next step. Configure security group. Click the EC2 instance and check the security group. Here you will find your security group. Click the launch wizard one. Now, before we edit this security group, let me tell you that the reason we need to configure the security group is because Spring Boot app run on port number 8080 by default. Definitely you can custom your port number in your Spring Boot application but that port number should be allowed in your security group. Let's go and add that port number here. Go to inbound rule. Click on edit inbound rule. Click add rule. Select custom TCP. Add the port number. Add the source as anywhere for this tutorial purpose. And I'm not adding any description, just save rules. So we have added this 8080 port in our inbound rule for that particular security group. Let's go to EC2 dashboard once again. Yes, our instance is running. Now it's the time to upload your web service jar file to EC2. You can use AWS CLI to upload the jar file to your EC2 or upload the jar file to an S3 bucket and pull the jar file from there to EC2. Whatever is easier for you. I am showing here pulling the jar from S3 bucket. Before going further, let me tell you, if you need a ready-made Spring Boot RESTful web service, you can download it from our AWS Tech Guide repository. Just clone and download the repository. It has the complete source code. After you download or clone, you can just build the project to generate the jar file. Here I am at my Git repository. Just click on 
download zip or copy this command if you have git install in your system you can clone it or you can download this zip i have this project already downloaded in my system so just open command from from here i assume you have maven install in your system and hit enter it will build your project and create the jar file perfect now go inside target folder and as you see that jar file has been created i am just keeping this jar file name short so it will be easier for you to run the command in ec2 instance app dot zap now let's move on if you have a public s3 bucket already created in your aws then good otherwise search s3 we need to create a public s3 bucket click on create bucket i'm just entering a name test aws we need to make this bucket public uncheck this acknowledge it and click on create bucket okay this bucket name already exists just made it unique perfect go inside this bucket and just upload the jar file into it so i'm just click next 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 upload as you see the jar file has been uploaded just click on it and click on action click make it public because you have to copy it to the ec2 instance so it should be a public object make public it is not public let's go back to our ec2 instance now it's the time when you need to connect to your ec2 instance if you want to know how to connect ec2 instance with putty or converting .pm file to ppk file please check a quick tutorial link mentioned in this video description i am connecting to ec2 instance through uh, the putty installed in my system so to do that copy public dns from here i am opening my putty here i have the putty already configured so i am just adding it but if you need to know uh, how to connect to your ec2 instance with putty please check the tutorial link in video description here i am connected to this instance we have created now first thing is that we have to copy our jar file from s3 to this ec2 instance let's go to this s3 and copy the jar file part copy this object url go to your ec2 cli type wget 
and paste it. And you see that it has downloaded. And it has downloaded. So just let's see that how it has downloaded. Yes, we see that our apps are that exist. Now the next thing is we have to check whether the Java version installed in EC2 is compatible with our Spring Boot Java version or not. Let's go and check it. To check the Java version in your EC2 instance, just run Java dash version. And as you see, you have JDK 1.7.0 install in your system. But the web service I have created that supports JDK 8. So we have to install JDK 8. To install JDK 8 in your EC2 instance, run this command sudo yum install java dash 1.8.0 and it is installing JDK 8. Type Y and enter. Now remember to remove the older Java version. So again, sudo yum remove Java. 1.7.0 and enter y and it has been deleted now now check java version and it says you have open gtk version 1.8.0 great now it's time to start and test the web service. To run the jar, type java that's jar and the file name. We have our file name app.jar. That's it. And click enter. As you see, the Spring Boot has started. And check the HTTP port, the Tomcat is running. It is here, HTTP 8080. And this is the port you have added in your security group. So now let's go and test. To test this, go to EC2 instance again. Go running instance. and copy this public DNS. Paste it in your browser, colon 8080 and give your web service path. I have the web service path that is products. And as you see that the web service is giving its response. It is a web service just to return product ID, product name, description, rating and image source. And it is the sample web service we used with this public DNS colon 8080 slash products. Thank you for watching this tutorial. You can get AWS Tech Guide resources from our website, YouTube channel, Facebook page, and even write. For any query, please feel free to write to us. See you in our next session. Thank you.